At Human Rights Watch, we've been documenting the impact of the welfare state for some time and, and um, automation in the welfare state. Um, you have an algorithmic system that is gathering lots of data points, um, just a kind of very crude reading of information that doesn't account for the complexity and kind of changing circumstances of someone's life. In the case of universal credit, kind of famously, um, it didn't, it sort of, anyone that was paid twice in a month, they were counted as having a double payment, so your universal credit was, uh, you know, significantly decreased. Or if someone's payment had been brought forward from a month, say, because it was bank holiday or there was a weekend, for example. So all of this kind of thing is like incredibly mundane. It is not what is going to be discussed at the summit next week, I imagine. But this is the, the kind of nuts and bolts of life that impacts real people. And this is how AI is being deployed, whether it's across welfare, whether it's across policing, whether it's across, you know, asylum applications. That is, you know, the impact on people's lives and it's happening now.